Hidden Object Guru here with After the Collapse, a post-apocalyptic base building game. Uh, there's no tutorial yet, let yet, and there's no story mode, so let's just see if we can muddle through, huh? Do -do 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 -do. Unlimited points, because I'm learning the game. Alright, so I start out with a bunch of survivors. I have chairs, all sorts of nonsense. And what is this? Storage box is, box is full of way too much. All right. No, can't. All right, can I move this guy? Or, uh, all right, his name is Art Fine. The menu on the left is the survivor info panel. It details everything you need to know about a specific survivor. Gotcha. You rename them? Yeah, I don't care about the names. You can access a detailed panel about their mood by clicking the green mood gauge. Great. Armors or weapons. Armor or weapons. Mm-hmm. They thought armor had it could put an S on it. That's not ideal. Hmm. Okay. Great. He's not hungry, he's not bored, and he's not tired. That is wonderful to hear. How do I get you inventory? Wooden spear. Yeah, that's not immediately clear. Alright, so, art fine. So I guess I just set them to do things? Hmm. Oh, nice! Neutrals and civilians have a gray one. Okay, and hostile have red. Unless attack civilians continue to work. Setting with the appropriate... Oh, you can set up safe zones. That's nice. It's been paused. You can space... Oh, you can pause whenever you want. Cool. That's handy. All right, so let's build something. Building menu. Uh, okay. All right, research station. Nice. Uh, I would like to build a basic kitchen. I'd like to build it right here in this courtyard. Thoughts? Done. And I accidentally put, put that down there. So, go guys, build me a kitchen. Is he doing it? I think that guy's going to go build me a kitchen. All right, so how do I harvest this stuff into lumber? Raise existing structures. And you're gonna... You're gonna turn that into lumber, right? Oh. Did they just destroy things without actually... Okay. That's a little disappointing. Uh, what is this menu? Repair damaged items. And that is... Zone Builder. Zone Building... Build-in menu. It happens. It allows you to define zones for specific, specific activities. Okay. Okay. I need a trading zone. Gotcha. Alright, let's get them a sleeping zone. Hmm. Let's make this the bedroom. Uh, no. What, what just happened there? Sorry. Let's try that again, huh? Remove zone. Let's try that again. Hmm. So bedroom is all of these couches and pool table. That seems kind of fun, right? Bed, walls, yes. Bed, one or more. Production, forbidden. Medical, forbidden. Oh, I see. I don't have any beds in the bedroom. So let's raise this zone here. No, do not destroy the walls. They're not going to try to destroy the walls, are they? They're not crazy. Uh-oh, it's nighttime. So, fun fact about nighttime. It's when zombies show up. What the hell just happened? Oh, they all went back to get food. Gotcha. And what is this? Mean? Storage information. I got some food. 
And this is other factions, nice. Population, you guys are all doing great. How do I have them scavenge for goods? Yeah, they tore down the walls. <sighs> My bad, that one's on me. Should have been more careful about uh, setting up destructo zones. Also, I should have been clear how to destroy destructo, destructoing, but uh, it was not immediately clear. Weird that I have to keep clicking on this over and over again. Can I just press four? I can't. Oh. Perfect. We got it, everybody. Let's uh, let's build a sleeping area. So I would like you to build some beds. Can you do that? Furniture, sleeping bag. Does its job. Nice. Okay, I got 30 fabric, so plenty of room for sleeping bags. Alright, now this will be our sleeping area. Can we all agree on that? Good. Alright, so... Yeah, it's weird that I can't make sleeping areas as big as the whole room. It seems like an odd choice, developers. You guys running out of water already? So just for the record, let me just check my inventory, please. Uh, I'll press I. That didn't work. Press tab. Also no. What was the inventory button again? I'm just... It's probably this, right? Yeah. Alright, so... Wood, I've got five. I've got no canned food. No water. Alright, so if I demolish all of this, do I get some wood? Or do I have to, like, chop down a tree or whatever? Because I'm fine chopping down trees or whatever. I would just like to know. Okay. Probably should have built the bedroom where there was already a bed. That would have been smart. Found a kitchen. Built onto an existing kitchen. Yeah, guys, go take a nap. You're fine. You're burning. Is that supposed to be a kitchen? That is supposed to be a kitchen. There's no fridge or stove. Not a very good kitchen, guys. It suddenly occurs to me this map was probably randomly generated. Uh, oh, that's nice. I think this would make a perfect place for the kitchen. So if you would just demolish all of this, that would be great. I would totes appreciate it. Also, how did you just demolish that wall so fast? I would be very interested to hear the answer to that question. Alright, so let's see if I have enough wood to build a research station. Nice. Okay. Yeah, this had to go down to the taskbar every single time. It's kind of frustrating. So, I've got five in storage for the lumber. See, so yeah, I didn't get any new lumber. Alright, so what if I attack this tree? It's repair damage items, that's attack. Alright, will raising the tree get me the lumber, or how does this work exactly? I still don't have enough in storage. And what about these rocks? Maybe I should build new storage. Maybe that's my solution. Okay... Boop. 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 This is my new storage area. Hmm. It suddenly occurred to me that maybe the reason I haven't been collecting resources when I break stuff is because I don't have anything to pick it up with. Faster. Build faster, my dears. You're not going to build faster, are you? Oh my god. How much stuff do I have? Mm -hmm. 
Yep, they have been collecting stuff when they break things. They just didn't have anywhere to put it. Alright, that one's on me. I should have checked that. Uh, storage, storage, storage. Alright, storage box. Let's build a bunch more storage boxes. Don't worry, I'm keeping them against the wall so everybody can always uh, grab at them. I am paying attention to how this world should work. Right, do we finally have a... Alright, so as I've been wrecking stuff, have I been like finding food and whatnot or, or what's the situation? I still have nine canned food, that's good. Alright. Just for the record, this bathroom here, this is where I want you all to hide if something goes horribly awry. In this bathroom here. And like, bar the door and everything will be fine, trust me. I don't know if you should trust me. Okay. Oh, it doesn't have any walls? That is bad. Alright, remove zone. Let's try creating a new trading zone here. Perfect. Alright. Room status okay. Trading area okay. Sleep zone okay. Oh! Bad one or more production for bit. Wait. You're saying I can't use sleeping bags? I have to have an actual bed? That seems harsh, game. Well, whatever. They seem to be sleeping just fine on these uh, sleeping bags, so I'm not going to question that. Alright, so now let's watch in real time what happens if I tear down all of this nonsense. So I've got, here in my stuff, I have... Uh, let's check the inventory. So wood 56, stone 10. So I raise all of this. Get to it, guys. Oh, hey, let's check my food situation. Nine. Nine, 56, 10, 10. Get to it. I seem to want water. They're getting water balls from out of there, I now realize. 9, 56, 10, 10. So they're gonna drop off any. Oh, yeah, 12. One went up. Traders are entering some first. Wait for the circle vehicle to stop in your trading zone and click on it. Each trader has their own interest and price range. Money you make selling things to a particular trader can be reused by. Obviously. Okay. Okay, this guy is driving hilariously. Wait, does he have to get into my house? Dude, there's literally a road right there. What are you doing? Yeah, he's driving through my house. I question everything about your life. Uh, dirty water. Do I have any cash? I have zero cash. Okay, sell to trader. I bet you would like these electronic parts. I have to manually put in two, don't I? Two. Alright, uh, used, used ammunition. Oh, because you can craft new guns with it, I understand. Do I have any ammunition? It does not look like it. Well, I don't need to make any pants, so here, have some leather. And then from the tra uh, trader, I will buy some water. Which is dirty, and I'm not happy about that, but it's all I can afford at the moment. Hopefully we'll, I don't know, invent some uh, chlorine later. I'm done. There we go. Let's get a look at how big this area is. It's not so bad. Hey, we finished the research station. Let's do some research, everybody. Also, destroy all of this nonsense. 
All right, uh, carpentry, build no furniture, start a research. Am I finding food anywhere? It's not really clear. You're feeling getting very hungry initial size in the last few days. Oh, make farms. Okay. And how would you make a farm exactly? I guess you just, uh. Farm? Uh, yeah, that should be enough farm space. That's true. How do we actually start them farming, though? Are they just gonna figure that out on their own, or? What? He looks like he's farming, I think. So how do I assign troop guys to just do a single job? Oh my god, is he actually going to... Well, I made one square of farmland down here. Now I'm going to make one at the top right. Mental note, do not build sand next time. <laughs> I gotta say, it feels like the game is, apart from the crazy AI from that trader, like the crazy nonsense trader AI, We've been pretty good so far, like just as a game. Uh, what I am going to say though is uh, there could definitely be. Oh, trader left. That's sad. Ah, ah. Nice work. Now we know how to, how to carpenter. Who's ready for me to build an actual bed? Furniture. Boom, done. And lots of sleeping bags, obviously. Alright, what can we make next? So. Masonry. Nice. Large sofa, hospital bed, pool table. Live off the land. A radio. Nice. Expedition planner. Wow. Okay, it does... Oh, water well. Yes, that's by far the most important thing to have. Anyway, this seems solid. There's a lot to do. It definitely needs clearer explanation. I don't know why only one guy has bothered to farm. This is is depressed. Building for entertainment. Producing beer at a still can do the trick. Nice. High quality beds are also important. I get it. Let me try something. So can I tell you to be a farmer? Oh, you're dying of hunger. Job. Oh, cool. That's neat. Teaching, farming, science, tinkering. Cool. Okay, I, I see... I gotta say, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get very f much into this game until they have a solid tutorial to, to walk me through a lot of this. You know. For starters, this seems pretty okay. I do like the idea of a base building sim post zombie apocalypse. I don't know if it's actually zombies, but you know. Generally it's zombies. So we'll uh we'll see going forward. If they put together a tutorial in time for the early access release, and then maybe we'll come back. But for right now, I've been the Hidden Object Group. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go into the comment section below the video. If you would like to uh, be here for the live streams of these games get played, check out the Discord channel, because that's where I announce them. See you back here for more new and upcoming games, but until then, au revoir.